The landscape setting of Perth is unique. Perth is the only city in the world dominated by Banksia woodland. No other city looks like this. This little reserve is a stepping stone across suburbia and it's very important that we keep areas like this and look after them. You may be able to tell from the background noise that surprisingly we're standing in the middle of Perth metropolitan area, the capital city of Western Australia. The area we're standing in is a Banksia woodland and Banksia woodlands in many ways are the quintessential Western Australians. Banksias are ancient plants. They've been here since the dinosaurs left us and probably before. And they've been adapted for millions of years to the fires and the other things that have moulded our climate. Currently they're under somewhat of a threat because the land that they grow on is relatively good for housing and in a rapidly growing metropolitan region our incredibly long-lived banksias are now entirely dependent on us to make sure that they carry themselves through. It's time to end our destruction and start managing and looking after these areas. Perth is not only a metropolitan city, but it's also the centre of one of the great biodiversity capitals of the world. Perth is a World Heritage Biodiversity Area with over 8,000 species of flowering plants, and Perth itself has about 2,000 of these. This is a beautiful example of one of the two species of flowering banksia that occur right through the banksia-dominated woodlands of Perth. This is Menzies banksia. And the flower is really significant because the starting to flower now of Menzies banksia takes over from the finishing of flowering of the candlestick banksia, which is the other major species. Menzies banksia flowering season follows on from the candlestick banksia flowering season, and it's this continuation of the banksia flowers right throughout the year that is so important to the birds because they have access to nectar throughout the year. My bushland is Underwood Avenue bushland. We need to appreciate the value of the banksia woodlands. When it gets to the stage of holding up signs, um, and standing in front of bulldozers, it's a bit too late. We need people to appreciate the bushland. Banksia woodlands is such a fantastic source of food for cockatoos. The Carnaby's cockatoo and now the red-tailed black cockatoos come onto the Swan Coastal Plain. The results of the last cocky count showed that Carnaby's have decreased by 37%. This flock of 300 cockatoos are endangered. 40 years ago, the flocks were numbering in the thousands. And so we've got to keep saving this valuable Banksia woodlands. The proposal for this bushland is quite inappropriate housing development. You've got to get more of them so they don't regrow. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of that. It's a monster. We have to keep the bushland free of weeds so the Banksias can regenerate from seeds dropped in the bare soil. This tree, which has been flowering for what looks like three years now, no, four years now, has very rarely set seed over the last four years. We've got one seed capsule here that looks like it's aborted. And on this little one, we've only got three. So even though this tree is probably about 15 years old, it's not going to produce, it hasn't produced enough seed to replace itself if there's a fire. This Banksia woodland is actually a threatened ecological community. They are so packed with different species and numbers of those individual species. This is Conospermum undulatum, one of Perth's plants that's only found in the Greater Perth. There are even plants in this particular locality that are confined to just a few patches around here. And it's this that makes it a threatened ecological community because it is quite distinctive. In 
Perth we have about 74 different species of reptiles and that makes it one of the richest ecosystems in the world for reptiles. Beautiful, well-adapted reptile species. The whole ecosystem is integrated. Reptiles, insects, spiders and the works. Particularly here in Bowl Park, we have every reason to believe that the food chain that occurs on the soil and below it are still very, very healthy. And while ever we have a healthy food chain, we are going to have a healthy Banksia woodland. So we have seen how significant and beautiful and in fact spiritually uplifting in a way the Banksia woodlands are and I'm sure that most of you that have not experienced this ought to come and join us, come and help us retain this wonderful set of beautiful plant species and the animal species dependent on it. Come and work with the groups that are friends of in your local area. We keep these for my grandchildren, your grandchildren and their grandchildren's grandchildren into the future. So we keep the wonderful Banksia woodlands of Perth which make Perth such a unique place for everyone. What you can do to get involved is first of all go and have a look in your local bushland. Go for a walk there. Join the local friends group. Get in contact with your local member of parliament. Show them your bushland. Once you get them to go along they are amazed. Thank you.